Hello you glorious gotta people, Jan here from Canopy Games with a really quick tip to do with grid maps. Now if you don't know what a grid map is, grid map is Godot's 3D version of tile maps and they are awesome, although they can be a little fiddly to use. In this video I'm going to be talking about how to set up navigation nodes to work with grid maps because it's actually very simple but I keep forgetting how to do it. So by recording this video I'll remember. Uh, I've made a ridiculously simple little cube character, made him glow so that we can really see him, and I've just put in a simple script that's going to use um, that's going to use make simple path to use a navigation node, which I'm going to uh, set as the direct parent of this character in a moment, to move through a level. Okay, this is not a tutorial on how to use navigation nodes. If you want to know how to use those, uh, you can go into the documentation, go to navigation node. And click on it and the methods you need are in here. It's very simple uh, but out of scope for this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a very simple grid map. I'm using the Canopy Games uh, dungeon kit. Uh, I'm not trying to advertise it, it's just one I've got handy. And let's make a ridiculously simple dungeon. I'm just going to put a floor, a corridor, and a floor. And let's put in some walls and floors, just uh, walls and doorways rather, just to make this nice and easy. As you can see, grid maps are really, really great for making quick levels. Okay, so we have a very simple level. I'm also gonna put a camera in here so we can actually see the level when it's running. And let's just drag that nice and high. Go to preview mode. Uh, that's actually not bad, is it? Let's go a little bit higher and a little bit closer. Uh, we should be able to see most of it from here. And we probably don't need that. And let's go uh, zero on the X, 30 on the X, should, uh, you know what, 20 on the X. Great, that's exactly where we want to be. Okay, so we have our camera, we have our grid map. I'm not gonna make this look pretty. Let's just make this work. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in my navigation mesh, uh, my navigation node rather. Then I'm gonna bring in my navigation mesh. Ha 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 ha, navigation mesh instance. Okay, I wanna instance my character uh, because of the way I've written my script, the character wants to be a child of navigation, just makes things simpler. And now I want to create this nav mesh. I'm going to go over to nav mesh and create navigation mesh. So this is exactly as you would do it with any other 3D scene. Uh, let's also have a place where we're going. So I'm going to make a position 3D node, just so I can have a place. And you know, let's put this up in the corner right here. I'm going to call you target. And I'm just gonna make sure that my node path and my target is pointing to the right place so the character knows where they're supposed to be going. So how do we get a grid map to work with this? And the answer is amazingly easily. You see, normally we would put our level as a child of navigation mesh instance. So let's do that. Let's take dungeon grid, uh, grid map and drop it in there. Go back to my uh, navigation mesh and bake it. I'm just gonna tweak it a little bit so we don't get caught on corners. I don't imagine we will do right now, but just in case. So I'm gonna click on the navigation Go to agent and assume we have a radius of one meter. Rebake it. And it's a little bit narrow around the doorways. And let's run that and see how we go. And we're moving. We're moving very slowly. So I'm actually gonna speed my character up a bit. Let's uh, give you a speed of 15. Try that one more time. Okay, so this is not that impressive. But what if we decide we want a more complicated level? Well, we're using a grid map, so this should be nice and simple, right? Let's go this way and then turn this way and go this way. And you know what? We're going to make this a little bit of a choice. Uh, uh, uh. I'm going to put this floor right here. So let's, uh, there we go a floor right here and a doorway and a couple of walls. Okay, camera, how are you doing with being able to see things? Let's take a look. Preview, not great. So let's just move our camera to be like this. Let's see, minus 90 on X. How's the preview? Uh, yeah, we're almost in position, aren't we? So let's just go a little bit further on the Z axis, a little bit further on the X i make ourselves a nice top-down adventure. Okay, one more thing I want to do. I'm going to move my target. So target, you now live over here. 
and go back into my, my navigation mesh instance, rebake it, and we now have the entire map, and I can run this level. And my NPC can navigate the navigation mesh just fine. There's a lot of settings you can play with. I do recommend, you know, tweaking the navigation mesh instance and your pathfinding and your AI to work with it. This is a very, very quick and dirty thing. And if I go back into my grid map, and let's say I'm going to change this corridor. So you are now blocked off. And you are now a wall. And I rebake my navigation. And one more time with feeling. And we now have yet another completely viable map. Look at that. I hope that helped. Do check our website on canopy.games if you want a, a more free tips, as well as our paid courses and our asset packs. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you very soon.